I found inspiration in a poem. A poem? A Victorian poem. Just words, but they helped me to stand when all I wanted to do was to lie down. But you didn't come all this way to hear an old man talk about things that make no sense. No, no, please, Mr. President. It makes complete sense to me. On the day of a big match, Say, a test. In the bus, on the way to the stadium. Nobody talks. Ah, yes. They're all preparing. Right. But when I think we're ready, I have the bus driver put on a song. Something I've chosen. One we all know. And we listen to the words together. And it helps. We like it. We are ah, terrific. <laughs> Yeah, I hope, I hope you, <laughs> there you go. Is this for me? <laughs> so long. Four more. All right, we're rolling. So tell us why it's important to share this particular moment in history with the world. Money. We hope to make money with it. A lot of money. Don't you have a lot of money? Uh, no. Need more. Never have a lot. I always want more. Yeah. More. <laughs> what? You were looking for something else, something I deeper was. than that. I wanted you to just go there, but I mean, if it's for the money. It's a. It's 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 a, it's a wonderful, wonderful um, story. Can you say a parable? Does it work as a parable? Uh, you sure. Uh, people use the term metaphor, but it may be more of a parable, in terms of. What is possible in, in life? What is possible? What a statesman uh, with courage and foresight uh, can accomplish. Yeah. Uh, how he can coerce uh, those who find those who are like-minded and uh, in, in bring them into his way of thinking. And this is what happened with Madiba and Francois. He just, call this young man to uh, come and see him and have a talk. Um, freak Francois right out that the president wants to and pours him tea and yeah. then and sits and tells him we need to we need to work, you and I. We need to exceed our own expectations. And we as leaders must in, uh, get others to exceed their expectations. I remember when I was invited to the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. Everybody in the stadium greeted me with a song. At the time, the future, our future, seemed very bleak. But to hear that song in the voices of people from all over our planet made me proud to be South African. It inspired me to come home and do better. It allowed me to expect more of myself. May I ask, what was the song, sir? Well, it was in Posisikilele, Africa. A very inspiring song. We need inspiration, Francois. Because in order to build our nation, we must all exceed our own expectations. So, uh, also, he, you know, it's about the, the, that miracle of that country not kind of devolving into civil war, and uh, it was it was it was a it was a triumph of of the leadership of Mandela, but also of every single person in that country making a choice not to do that, and uh, Mandela put a lot of responsibility on the citizenry and that's a good message too that things don't just happen you have to make them happen um, but but again this is just a very uplifting incredible true story that uh, that we just wanted to, to
to put out into the world because it's a good thing to be out there, particularly now when you know, turn on the nightly news and you know, mm. you want to put your head in the oven, you know. <laughs> so this is a nice or, thing or to run. have out there, or just run, yeah. Don't forget, we got cameras on us at all times. What a bloody joke. year and we're also in a time where yet another president is creating big change can we talk about the parallels between both presidents ushering in a new era uh, we may be reaching a bit far to make that kind of parallel Mandela came out of prison uh, not Harvard uh, he well, Harvard's <laughs> kind of like a prison. I mean, <laughs> he went to Harvard. <laughs> uh, uh, Mandela was inheriting a country that was really on the verge of war. If it was going to be like a really serious bloodbath, if war, it ca yes. came about civil war, internal uh, strife. Um, he uh, was president. He was going to be president anyway. He was president, but without control of the air force, the army. Uh, or the police, or the economy. Right. That was in the hands of the whites. And, you know, he was very aware of that. Uh, our president has inherited some ugly stuff, but nothing near as ugly as that. So it's a long stretch, I think, to, to make too much of a comparison yet. The yeah. time may come uh, during his tenure that we can say, yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> This is our destiny. Come on, come on. 